Hi, I'm Mark Olin, Vice President of Connected Real Estate for Cisco's Internet Business Solutions Group. One of the more interesting things that's going on in real estate today, again, is the inclusion of technology into the property. It's not just inclusion. It's probably the wrong way to think about it. Technology is becoming an integral part of the building itself. You can no longer think of a building as simply bricks and mortar with the technology added later. The building itself now incorporates the infrastructure, the IT infrastructure that enables the experience and the operations inside the building. And that is going to become one of the biggest differentiators of buildings going forward. Hotels are certainly one example of that. Right, as the building comes alive, what you're going to have are sensors deployed all over the property, inside the rooms, on the exterior of the building, the interior surfaces, even inside of the fabric of the building itself. Those sensors will be measuring everything. They'll be measuring motion, they'll be measuring heat, airflow, mold spores in the room, light levels, you name it, it's going to be measured. And what that means is information about what's going on inside of the building and the condition of the building is going to be flowing real time to a central repository, which is then going to allow the building itself to automatically respond to people that are inside of it. This is going to be allow for customized experiences that are different than anything that you can have today. It's going to mean the environment itself is going to be customized and will change based on the preferences of individuals. And those preferences can come from a number of different sources. It can come from the individual themselves, where they enter those preferences directly into the system. It can come from demographic profiling. It can come from psychographic profiling, where certain types of personalities are identified through information that could be available either publicly or through behavior patterns that the guest has already, in effect, provided through their activities inside of the property. And that information then will allow for that customization of either environment or ultimately also services inside the property. In the case of services, the information about what's appropriate for the guest has to be brought to the staff at the right time on the right device. What this is going to mean is a series of different types of devices, again, all connected through a common network using a common protocol with a common data framework, right, will simply be able to push the information to the staff so as they interact with the guests, they're able to have you know, the information at hand to personalize the experience for that individual. Right, the net result will be that the person is going to feel like the hotel was made for him or her. Right, the hotel itself, will, the rooms will look you know, literally exactly the way they would like it in terms of temperature, lighting, photographs, music, even scent. Right, the staff is going to know exactly what they like or don't like. Information will be pushed to them as appropriate. If you like exercise, you're going to know exactly what options are available, if there are classes, things of that sort. If you're interested in culture, those will also be made available. All of this personalization will completely change the nature of the interaction between the individual and the hotel in a way that will not only increase, obviously, the experience of the guest, but ultimately will help drive the brand and make the guest much more loyal. A huge enabler of this right, is the concept of convergence. Right, for the building to truly become intelligent, it's going to need this sensor network I described, right, and all the devices and everything on it are going to have to be connected. And in order for that to happen, things will have to be converged. This can't happen if everything is running on separate subsystems right, that are running on different protocols and use different data frameworks. You simply cannot get the information in a common repository or use it effectively if every single time you need to do that, you have to work through those sorts of impediments. So, convergence, again, the idea of a common protocol and common data framework is really the great enabler of building intelligence, which is ultimately the great enabler of the personalized experience. My name is Howard Locke. I am the director for uh, transportation and hospitality within Cisco's Internet Business Solutions Group, which is a management consulting group focused on customer success. Cisco's approach to hospitality is quite simple because we do recognize the challenges hospitality industry has in serving the various demographics and the demands uh, that they have placed upon them. The industry is such that hospitality organizations are playing catch up in terms of the way they can serve their customer base. Gen Y and Gen X are increasingly sophisticated in their use of technology and quite frequently uh, the technology that is available to them at the office and at the home uh, 
are not available in hotels. So hotels are in a position where they're playing catch up. But there is an opportunity here for those hotels willing to experiment, willing to explore the capabilities of technology to really get ahead of the curve, to be able to create new experiences underpinned by emerging and maturing technologies that are available today. Some of the demonstrations that we're showcasing here at, uh, here at high tech uh, it revolve around RFID technologies that enable you to track customers as they enter your property, track customers as they move around your property, and to automate certain processes and possibly even to eliminate some of the processes uh, that really impede the hospitality organizations. My colleague Mark Golan talked about the notion of convergence, which is a, really a powerful concept around collapsing uh, foundational capabilities into a single infrastructure that can be scaled. Applications can then be overlaid on top of that enabling infrastructure uh, so that hotel organizations can easily and agilely deploy capabilities like RFID-based uh, customer tracking, for example, RFID-based uh, systems that can deliver room keys directly to, uh, to the guest's telephone, RFID-based systems that can track and trace the presence of customers so that a hotel can quite agilely and flexibly deploy labor where it's needed uh, versus what happens today, which is sort of a, a, a deployment of the workforce by chance. IP telephony, of course, can certainly drive operational costs for deploying voice applications, but that same platform can then be used to drive new experiences in the guest room, new experiences in the lobby, new experiences in the common spaces, experiences that have never been available before. For example, in the guest room, the guest might be able to summon information about local attractions in the area that simply wasn't available to them via other means. They may be able to interact with, with uh, concierge services in a way that wasn't possible. They may be able to bypass the, the traditional review of the hard copy menu and go directly to a room service uh, to be able to facilitate an easier way of ordering and interacting with the service. So technology has a tremendous uh, ability to drive new, unique, compelling experiences for hospitality organizations to deliver upon the promise that they're making to their clientele. So here at Hitech, Cisco is extremely excited to showcase a number of technologies that take advantage of the converged infrastructure that we talked about earlier. One of which is digital surveillance, which is a maturing in, and really an emerging capability to deploy digital surveillance systems over an IP network. Another is around digital signage, which is a very exciting capability to enable hoteliers to manage their content in ways never before available and to be able to deliver uh, new compelling images and experiences and to be able to monetize that experience uh, through targeted advertising to their customers. And others are really leveraging IP uh, telephony platforms to deliver new services in ways that have never been available before.